All right, well, hi, I'm Karen. In this video today, I'm gonna be reviewing these new pencil eyeliners. I don't even know if I wanna call them eyeliners or eyeshadows. They're supposed to be their multi-stick product, makeup product, and they're called the Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi-Stick. You're supposed to be able to use them anywhere you want to. So it's kind of like pretty much just be creative and do your thing. So on that note, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so I have to say that these excited me a bit because one thing about me, I, I love ease. If you've been watching my channel, you're gonna know I, I I love things to be easy. Whether it's from, you know, I find an easy way to apply the eyeshadow, easy way to get the foundation on. I, I kind of, I don't mind putting in the work, but I don't like the fuss. You know what I mean? And if it gives me a fuss, man, you gotta go because there's not enough time in the day to deal with all of that. You get what I'm saying? And let, let me go ahead and pop these open. All right, so they are completely like packaged in. You know what? We're gonna test that out. We're going to do a full face, why not? And honestly, I know like these things get on our nerves, these little wrapper thingies, but you know what gets on my nerves more? When I buy a product and bring it home, especially a lipstick, and somebody has swatched it with their fingers. You feel me? <laughs> last one so now i don't know kind of looking at these i'm kind of thinking could i had left out one color um but you know we'll see let's watch them so when you rip the packaging off the names are on the packaging but you'll you'll find it down here you will no longer see it on the side all right so that's blue lala and it does look quite matte and slightly metallic does it say that it's metallic i don't know is it just me i have this thought about the whole you know, cruelty free, not testing on animals thing. And I'm not encouraging animal cruelty. Trust me, I used to be a vet technician. I love animals. And it kind of just made me think like, are we the lab rats? Think about it when it comes to the ingredients in these products. I'm just giving y'all something to think about. That's all, don't get mad at me. I'm not the one who's making the makeup products. I'm just reviewing them. All right. <laughs> The next color is Born to Flirt. That is a cute little name, but not cute when you're on the opposite side of that stick and somebody else is flirting and you want to beat the mess out of them because they're doing it in your face. Yes. Ooh. I kind of like this color. It's kind of like a very pinky, peachy, metallic shade, almost rose gold-like. And I want to say they're... It's not like they're like that solid color, like the NYX sticks, they're not like that. But they are they are pigmented. This one is a very nice nudie color and I thought that'd be great, you know, just like for doing like everyday looks. Um, this one is called Nudie Culture. Yep, that's what I thought. That's perfect, that's exactly what I thought. Actually, it's a very cool tone nude color. Kind of puts you in mind like the cool beige colors that's like popular to put on your lips. It kind of reminds me of that. Now this color looks so pretty. If you've been following me, you know that I've been like obsessing over brown tones in general. This one's called Chocolate Cheat Day. I have those every week. <laughs> oh, keto! Oh. Keto has made me more mindful that I need to eat more vegetables and lay off the sweets so much. So I would say that it has done that for me and we should all be conscious about that. Yes. They're very thin. They're not like heavy like I was saying before. I just hope they dry down. So that's the part that I'm kind of like. Next color. This one is Burning Bridges. Oh, wow. Why these names? <sighs> I just had a dream before the year ended. Anyway, do I want to even talk about this? I don't know. Do y'all want to hear about this? Oh, it was about a bridge being disconnected. It made me think about burning bridges. It wasn't on fire, but maybe some bridges need to be cut off. You don't even know it. Ooh, this is a very pretty color. Very pretty Merlot. And one more shade. Ooh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was afraid that these three shades along here were all going to be alike, but they're not. Yeah, you're gonna have to put something on these to set them because they're still moist to the touch. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have been trying to save these. I've only been using this with this NYX foundation here. Lasts so long and it looked good. Like, finally found a way to use this. Thank goodness. Ooh, and I almost forgot. Like, ooh, I have to spray my face. But that's the other thing that made it work really well together. It does need like a nice 
kind of base underneath. And that's the Revival Labs uh, Rose Water Hyaluronic Spray. So now that I have that part on, sort of, kind of not sure which color I want to go in with, but let's try this one. Ooh, that is extremely dark, Karen. Great job. And then the next one I'm going in with is the Ready, Set, Go. This was the metallic one. I think that's a bit deep, you know? Yeah, I think so. Right. So I definitely want to use something a bit dense to blend this out. And this is going to be the foundation blurring brush from e.l.f. I probably should have did this part last. And I'm only saying last because, well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Get a little blush in other places. Okay. Okay. It blended nicely. Blended a lot, even a lot lighter than I thought it would. Do a little something on there. And the reason I'm not blending in a way and stippling instead is because I don't want to blend all of this away. I want it to stay in a certain vicinity. And put it right here on the bridge of the nose. And you can also put a little bit on the chinny chin. So far, I'm saying this is, uh, to me, this is looking really good. I like the way it looks. It looks beautiful. All right, moving on, next step. And you know what, let's see, can we contour with this color? I think this might be just a little too dark for my, just saying. I'm not usually into the whole chisel McNizzle, but let's see what we can do here, you know? We gonna test the limits, let's trash the limits, you know what I mean? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> We'll wait for the leftovers. All right, you know, let's see here. Let's use the finger. There we go. Something like this. I don't want to bring it all the way down. I just don't. I rather, even though if, technically foundation is going to go over it and it is going to make it look better. So hold on, hold on. Let me take that back. I forgot about that. We, we still got to put foundation over this. And you put whatever amount you feel comfortable putting on. I'm just, you know, doing what I find comfortable. I like a more natural look. I don't, yeah. Concealer, and this is Cover FX in N Medium 3. And quite honestly, I probably don't really need it, but you do with putting the foundation on and everything. And I'm gonna keep it down here. I mean, you could just put powder on top of this and you would be good to go. Like, I'm kinda thinking that's what I might actually do, actually. All right, and then for highlighter, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this product here. And this is the ELF Plus Glow, um, their new Cocoa Highlighter in the color golden. And since I already have all these cream products on, this is like the perfect time to like get this on. Honestly, this could make a really nice skin base. And I'm thinking I might actually leave it. I, I'm, I'm seriously debating on this. I mean, I wouldn't mind stepping out the house like this, you know, except for this part, <laughs> you know, that's not cool, that's not cool. I'm doing step by step, like if I was really gonna do a full face with this, like this is what I would do. I'm gonna mix these two here, the bronzer from Sephora along with this. And this is another good reason to have like a tacky base underneath because now you got something for the powder to stick to versus nothing, you know what I mean? Like to me, I wouldn't put any matte nothing underneath no powder. I'm just going in with this for right now. That's better. All right, now let's go back in with the bronzer. All right, so eyebrows, yeah, I wouldn't use, eh, yeah, there's no color that I can say, I would comfortably say like, no, no. My hair's not even red, it's brown, no. As the Germans would say, nine. All right, I'm gonna go in with the, with brunette, LA Girl Shady Brow Pencil. Uh, the, like all the writing is literally like wiping off, but this color is beautiful. I'm gonna go in the shade as usual from the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Brow Palette. You can use whatever you like. You got an eyeshadow, run it. Taking a little bit of that concealer. And we'll just stick this a touch of this. The NYX Color and Caramel. All right, so this says is a go-getter, girl boss, multitasker. You've met your match. The Color Icon Multi Stick is a hardworking, multitasking, multifunctional makeup stick. Let's jump down to the nitty gritty. It says velvety cream to powder and multifunctional formula that can be applied to eyes, cheeks, and lips. Easy to apply, silky formula glides on and blends into skin effortlessly. Do we really need directions? I don't think so. If you're looking to get also like a highlighter stick, you could try the Champagne Room and the Keep Digging. Those two colors, one is like a champagne color and the other one is definitely a gold brick. 
color. But I have enough highlighters. I was good on that number. I'm not just purchasing stuff just for the, I don't want to keep purchasing things just for the sake of purchasing it, you know what I mean? And then just sit, be sitting here with a whole bunch of clutter that I gotta get rid of. Let's start off with the nude culture. Oh, this is very light, okay. But it's all good. But yeah, let's just, let's just do it all over one I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go in with chocolate cheat day. Maybe I should have did a different look with each eye. So you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try doing something different with each eye. And for something like this, I would probably recommend something just a little bit more on the firm side, like these. Uh, this one here is from BH Cosmetics. This is like the smudger brush. And then you have this. And if you want to, you could probably most likely use your fingers as well. But I just want something that I can stipple it and blend it in together. And I'm sure you could use a blender brush, but I don't want to lose the color, you know? That's why I'm using this. You can use a blending brush, so you can use whatever you got. Use whatever you got. Just stipple with it, even if it was your fingers. And now the only difference in this type of cream stick, I have to say is, if you're looking for a eyeshadow pencil that's going to set, this is not it. Yeah, if you're looking for something to put on and go, I would say this is not that product. This is that product that you can put on and then set. Yeah, not just, mm -mm. I wouldn't trust this to stay on by itself. Not like that. Yeah, you have to set this. I'm gonna be using this right here from e.l.f., the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. And I am gonna use a more fluffy brush. And I am gonna start off with fresh, set the top there. You could probably, let's test it out. I'm gonna use setting powder. Let's try that. Just for those of you who are like, what's the point in doing all that? You gotta do all that. You know, it's, and this is the translucent set powder. From Cover FX. Bam. So we'll do one eye doing that. The other eye we'll do with the eyeshadow, okay? Just so you can have a difference so you can see. So, all right. And then I am going to go in with, let's go in a little bit of warm and fresh. All right. And wipe it off. Let's go in with fresh. So honestly, if you have issues creating the shape of your eye with your eyeshadow. Maybe drawing your shape on initially until you get it right might be the option for you. I'm kind of curious. Ooh, okay, where are you? It's subtle. It's very subtle. Yeah, can you even see it? And this one is in the shade Born to Flirt. It's super subtle. Yeah, I'm not sure about this guy for the eye. Uh, let's see, what do you look like on the cheeks? Oh, yeah. okay, I can barely see you. Oh, wow. Hmm, yeah, not on my complexion. That's gonna be my thought process on that. I think if you are fair, I think you're gonna love this. On my skin tone, this is gonna be a no. Sorry, born to flirt. Matter of fact, we, I don't want anybody flirting anyway on me and other chicks. Bump that. We're not having that for 2019. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. Let's see if we can get Ready, Set, Go to work. Yeah, maybe that, no, still, I was about to say we can use that as an inner corner highlight, but I'm just, let, let's wipe that off because it's just, yeah, give this a fair chance because this right here, and foolishness. All right, let's see. Oh, sorry. So this one is Ready, Set, Go, and then now I'm using Burning bridges. Burning bridges that you don't need to turn back to and let go of in 2019. How about that? Yeah, that's gonna be the theme of this video. Ready, set, go. Move when the Lord tells you to move and be willing to let go of some things that just were hindering you and you were just too afraid to let them go. Theme continues. Watch my other video, you know what I'm talking about. My 2019 goals. It's not even on purpose. But the Lord does work stuff out like that for us sometimes, huh? All right, so that looks really nice. Let's try this on the lips. I'm gonna try Burning Bridges. Ooh, now you see, I like this. It's like that effortless red lip 
where you want to look like you're wearing makeup but you don't want it to be so fully pigmented it still shows like some lip through so it kind of gives kind of like that natural effortless vibe i could see that i could see that with this lip color that's that's cute let's see maybe we add a little bit of ready set go just to give it like a little glow just a little shimmer not even shimmer just a little metallic glow effect on the top i say those two definitely worth it so far let's see this one oh i'm sorry and the blue one that's blue la la and now I'm going back to chocolate cheat day. I'm gonna put a little bit in my waterline. Ooh, let's go to Splash. This is the Perfusion Wanderlust palette. Yo, this blue is like stunning the business. And I don't even know if I really fully tried it. Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so. I'm going to say Blue La La is a keeper because I have been needing a blue base to put underneath blue eyeshadow so my skin isn't like popping through. This is perfection. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So Blue La La is a keeper in my book. Mm, mm, mm. Kapow. That's what I'm talking about. That's the jam. And do it again. I'm also gonna go in with nostalgia on the bottom here, and that's more of like a red brown. Let's do some on the inner corner. Let's go in with gravity. Yeah, see, it's like a purpley pink iridescent shade. Let's go in with illusion. Really pale, pink, pale, something. It's not completely frosty white, but you can definitely tell it has like a beigey pink undertone. All right, I think I would have rather left it all blue. Let's put the blue back over it, splash. I'm gonna go back to nostalgia. And that's the funky eye look we're going with. Everything ain't gotta be Instagram perfect. All right, yeah, I'm gonna leave it harsh just like that because I like it actually. All right, and then for the other eye, I'm not, I can't leave it like that because it's gonna crease to the beaks on me. And we can't be having that business. Why not? Let me pull out this bad boy right here. This is the Foil Eyes uh, 28 color from BH Cosmetics. I just gotta make use of it with this color down here. Mm. Yes, talk to me. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to play with you more often. Yes, this is what I was missing. And then for the under eye, let's go in with something a little bit deeper. I'm just gonna go in with a matte. Sometimes you just need to just keep it simple. I'm gonna go in with Warm here from the e.l.f. Cosmetics. Yeah, I wanna say this about this BH Cosmetic palette here. Yeah, if you're looking to just add just, you know, some color variation to your makeup collection, like you just need more different kind of shimmers and you don't really have them, that's really your route to go. So it's not gonna be fabulous for everybody. Just being real, it's just not. They do have something for some of everybody and I think if you just want more colors because maybe you need more lighter versions of that deeper version you have to create more, you know, dimension, I think you would really like it. All right, I think there we go. We, we, we gonna stop right here with the boldness. And you can set this too, matter of fact, um, if you wanted to, you could set this. I don't wanna jack up my brushes, so we're gonna go in with this light brush. If you wanna set it, make it matte so it doesn't go anywhere, that's your choice right there. Put it on, blot it, put it on, blot it, set it. All right, so this is the final look. I really wanted to like this. Oh, look at that. I really, really wanted to like, it looks okay on this eye, but this eye, you can really, really, really see how bad it's creasing. So yeah, that defeats the whole purpose. I really wanted to like this, but it is just, uh, -uh it's just creasing too bad with the blue one. Look at that. That is really bad. That is really bad. Anyway, that's it for me. Yeah, this definitely is a no. <laughs> So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Bye.